joining another video. Today we're going to be talking about Tesla's full self-driving and early access program. If you're curious about all the commotion around the safety scores in beta, hopefully I can explain some of that. Full self-driving will eventually be Tesla's level 5 autonomous vehicle technology. I say eventually because this software does need quite a bit of work before it's there. If you want to learn more about the specifics of autopilot and full self-driving, I have a video going over the history of the autopilot system and a broad overview of how it works. Stick around to the end because we'll be taking it for a quick drive to see how it does. But first, how do you get full self-driving? FSD is currently available as an add-on for any of the Tesla cars. You have two options for getting it, to buy it outright or through a subscription. The one-time purchase costs $10,000 and the subscription is either $99 or $199 per month. For people who currently only have basic autopilot on the car, it costs $199. With Enhanced Autopilot, the monthly cost is $99. According to Tesla, all cars purchased after late 2016 have the camera hardware needed for full self-driving. You will need to get your Autopilot computer upgraded if your car isn't already equipped with it. This cost is included if you do the one-time purchase. To get the computer with the subscription, it costs $1,500. Now, even if you shell out all that money, you're still not going to get everything. Early beta testers were selected at random and have been autonomously driving their cars for almost a year now. Tesla recently released the Safety Score program, which works similarly to one of those safe driving insurance apps. You're rated on four collision warnings, hard braking, aggressive turning, unsafe following, and forced autopilot disengagements. With these five metrics, you get scored from 1 to 100. To be included in the first wave, you needed to have a score of 100 and also have over 100 miles driven. I am excited that I was able to get into that first wave. Eventually, Tesla will be rolling out the beta program to scores of 99 and below, and of course to those that are interested. There is one last thing to know, Tesla Vision. If you've seen my other videos reviewing Tesla cars, you probably heard the line, eight cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and a four firing radar. Well, that line isn't accurate anymore. As of a few months ago, Tesla released Tesla Vision, a new radarless driving system. This allowed them to completely remove the radar from new cars that are produced. Members of the FSD beta are also now using Tesla Vision. So while this car has a four firing radar, it's no longer being used. Let's start the drive. My hands do have to be on the wheel for safety, but the car is driving on its own. So let's engage it. All right. <laughs> Whoa. I know, this windshield needs to be cleaned and I'm also working on finding a way to mount the camera in the center without the mirror blocking the view. Now turn right on to South 66th Avenue. I started this route through a neighborhood and will eventually get onto busier roads. It seems to do very well in neighborhoods, but does prefer to drive in the center of the road where there are no lane lines. Right onto West Desert Lane. Now turn right onto South Kelsey Drive. This was actually the first roundabout that the system was able to complete for me, though this is a pretty small one in a residential area. Right route of the neighborhood and onto the main roads. It hesitated through this intersection as it briefly stopped twice before making the left turn. Not sure why it got stuck here, but it did eventually make it through the intersection. Let's speed up through some of the straight road driving. This route I'm taking today is pretty simple, nothing too wild. The car slowed down for the person walking on the road. Full self-driving seems to be very hesitant around people, which is a good thing.
Tesla stopped for the stop sign here. It seems like it waited until the truck to the left of us went knowing it'd be guarded on the left side. Let's speed up some of this waiting at the red light. Alright, we're approaching our destination and it's going to try to turn into a parking lot that's closed, so I'm going to stop it. <laughs> but we have made it with zero disengagements. There was one time it did do something a little weird, but overall it drove me all the way from a random neighborhood to a post office. So my first impressions of the system, well, it's still very clearly in testing. Tesla gives a warning saying the car may do the wrong thing at the wrong time, and that's an accurate statement. The system is far from perfect, but it shows how far they've come. The system can be a bit skittish at times, it will sometimes not pick the right lane and has been surprisingly aggressive, but all of these can be remedied with the work of the autopilot team and more miles driven by their fleet. After all, the drivers of the Tesla fleet, even the ones that aren't members of the beta, are helping to advance us into a full self-driving future. While you drive, there's a video camera icon you tap on when the vehicle did something incorrect or odd. This information is sent to Tesla. Once you're done driving for the day and the car is parked and connected to Wi-Fi, the car will start to upload all of its data to Tesla. Even if you don't tap that button to collect any clips, the car is still observing and uploading a ton of data. There are many channels that provide a lot of footage and info on full self-driving, so I don't plan on focusing on FSD too much as my channel is more about EV reviews, EV ownership, and other EV topics. However, I hope to sprinkle in a few of these FSD videos into the mix as I've done before. I'd like to see how the car does over time. I'm sure by the time I release this video, Beta 10.3 will be out, so I'll skip over doing a longer review of 10.2. The system is really cool, and I'm very glad that I'm getting used to it. This bleeding edge technology is always fascinating. Thanks for spending time with me today. Make sure to subscribe for more EV content and follow me on social media at Kai's EV and Kai's Tesla. Kai is my dog. And check out my website for more EV resources at kaizev.com. That's all for now and happy charging.